Hey guys, so today uh, for the first time I am making homemade chow chow. This is something my dad likes. I think it's a southern thing. It's like relish with cabbage, onions, tomatoes, peppers. Um, it's not something, I don't know why we're not in focus. Let's try this. There we go. So this is something um, I'm making for my father for Father's Day. So these are jalapenos, bell peppers. This is a new pepper. Um, it's called Aloha. And instead of getting a yellow and a red, it's mixed. So I thought that was cool. Now the recipe I'm going to give you is, I'll put her, it's a YouTube channel. I think her name was Miss Brenda D. And um, I'm doing it my way because I don't have five tomatoes and that many peppers. So she did five cups of vinegar. I did four cups. So um, we've got her recipe calls for two jalapenos. Um, I put more jalapeno peppers in here than I did bell peppers. But I had more of it. Um, she says you use six bell peppers, five onions. I used two because they were very big. And I used Vidalia. Um, that's a head of cabbage that I put in my food processor and these are homegrown tomatoes I went to the farmers market today and got them and I did get some green ones because some people just make it with green so in here you've got four cups of vinegar and three cups of sugar on medium heat and um, how much salt three table is it three tablespoons might be three tablespoons of salt I'll, like I said, I'll put the exact directions down. So now we're going to start adding everything. Because this has to cook, I think she said, 45 minutes. And with one hand, we're going to try this. So there, I don't want to use all my cabbage because I thought about it. <laughs> I might want some homemade um, coleslaw. So I may leave just a little bit in there. Because like I said, this is all... It's a big old chunk. Let me get that out of there. Um, this is all for my dad. The only thing I'm worried about is tasting it. Okay, here goes your tomatoes. Whatever, don't go in there. I'll get it in when I stop the video. The onions. And all the peppers. Now, she doesn't add water. Because she says... I've seen, I've watched a couple of these videos, and she says, um, you know, it's going to make its own water, or make its own juice, to not worry about it. And I hate adding water, because I think if something calls for water, you should put chicken broth, beef broth in it, because to me, that just, the taste goes away. So this is a Dutch oven, and I'm, it's on, um, about six on my um, dial up there. So she said it's got to cook for 45 minutes. So we're going to do this low and slow. I'll come back and see, let you see the progress. So it's been about 30 minutes. So you can see how it's cooking really well. It's getting... And see, I didn't add any water. That's just the vinegar. And it's full of juice. So it's... I see, you know, that pepper looks like it needs to cook down more. And I've, it was on six um, on the dial. I've turned it down to like five and a half. And I may, I think I may put it down to five a little bit more and let it cook on. And when you jar these, they'll last, she said, three months in the refrigerator. And she calls this a refrigerated chow chow. So. Believe me, my dad be the only one that eats it. And she would taste it <laughs> while it cooked. I can't do it. I don't eat bell peppers. I don't eat jalapenos. Um, but I'm sure since I do like hot stuff, but this is not something I would eat. And I love vinegar. But can't do it. <laughs> now her, she used the... Um, cabbage the coleslaw cabbage out of a bag from Sam's see I I really that's probably why 
mine's got more liquid because hers wasn't as finely chopped. It was just, you know, coleslaw in a bag. So I'll come back when um, it is completely done. My husband's going to have a fit when he walks in because it stinks. Well, it'll smell good to people that like it, but that cabbage, whew. Like if he was cooking cabbage and he don't like vinegar either. So it's going to be funny. He's going to walk in and uh, I got a combination going because I clean with bleach and I really shouldn't because it makes me dizzy. I don't dilute it enough and uh, I get a little lightheaded. I know that's dangerous. So... I've mopped my floors with that, and I've got this vinegar cabbage going too. Whew. I'm glad nobody's coming over. <laughs> so I'll be back. Okay, here they are. This is a lot of work for something I don't like to eat, but I find when I, but I love to give things away. So it made three of these big ones and two little bitty ones. I found these at a thrift store one time, and um. I thought they would be good for apple butter when I make it in the fall. Um, so I think it come out good. I will let you know if they like it. My uncle wants a little one and my dad will take a big one. And like I said, they'll keep in the refrigerator for three months. So y'all, thanks for watching. My next project will be cowboy candy, which is candy jalapenos. Have a great day.